top five players of week one in the Overwatch Pro-Am. The Contenders Player of the Week is Kuffa, and a lot of Contenders players impressed me this weekend, but Kuffa stood above the rest. He looked like he could jump into the Overwatch League and be an impact player immediately. I was highly impressed with his primal mechanics, and he looked good even when Timeless was losing. He was a huge reason they were able to go the distance with Vancouver, and he even outplayed Punk on King's Road to get the map win. This is even more impressive because he is doing this from Australia on 200 ping. Insane stuff. Rookie of the Week is going to be sugar free, and I am so glad that he lived up to the hype. It was impossible to say before this whether or not he would continue his dominance with his hiatus, but man, he performed. He was always up to something on Tracer, he pulled out the Pharah, which looked great, and his May was just alright. I could definitely see him improving there, but it was okay, I guess. He hit multiple highlight reel plays every map and was the driving force of the Titans. I'm disappointed we won't see more of him in the tournament, but I am very excited to see how high he can peak as the Titans grow as a team. Support of the week is going to be Chorong, and his play to scout He Sang out of invisibility really sticks out to me here. These kind of micro plays that go under the radar but heavily influence the outcome of team fights are just my favorite. His Ana also looked great, and his ability to survive all by himself while RuPaul went off and did Kiriko things was very important for Florida's success. Now that he's finally off Toronto and is free of the mid-curse, he is going to make waves in Florida. The DPS player of the week is Lip, who was just dominant in his matches to nobody's surprise. It looked like he was playing versus easy bots out there, it was actually unfair. Hydrogen Bomb versus Coughing Baby in real life. Of course his hitscan was just the best, but also his Sombra did not die versus the Saints. He dropped a nuke on them, it was not reasonable. A lot of people criticize him as a mechanical Sombra, and I think there is some truth to that, but I also think his decision making this week was great. He was doing everything, everywhere, all at once, protecting the backline, participating in dives, hitting huge EMPs, he was doing it all. All of Atlanta looked absolutely fantastic, but Lip is Lip. Tank of the Week is going to someone who is starting a early MVP campaign already. His Winston looks elite, and when he flexed the Ramatra and the Sigma, he looked great as well. He has honed his skill to dance the line between feeding and being as aggressive as possible, and it looks like Florida are leaning into it heavily and basing their entire playstyle around it. Florida lacked a real identity last season, so I hope they continue to keep this up because it is scary. Let me know your player of the week down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe for more daily Overwatch League content. Have yourself a good one. Deuces.